performance test, performance and efficiency test of a refrigeration plant. So we start by uh, before compression, refrigeration. Ito yung inakalo. So we try to go sa karna when it's a before compression. Paper compression refrigeration in which the refrigerant undergoes phase changes is one of the many refrigeration cycles and is the most widely used method for air conditioning of building and automobiles. It is also used in domestic and commercial refrigerators. Large scale warehouses for chill or frozen storage of goods and meats, refrigerated trucks and railroad cars and a host of other commercial and industrial services. Oil refineries, petrochemical and chemical processing plant, a natural gas processing plant are among the many types of industrial plants that often utilize large vapor compression refrigeration system. Okay. Refrigeration may be defined as storing the temperature of a closed space by removing heat from the space and transferring it as well. A device that performs this function may also be called an air conditioner, refrigerator, air source pump, heat thermal heat pump, or chiller. Yeah. So, yeah. Description of the vapor compression refrigeration system. The vapor compression uses a circulating liquid refrigerant yeah, as the medium which absorbs and removes heat from this space to be cooled and subsequently rejects that heat elsewhere. So figure kahit ang motor kasi naririnig yun naman yung sinasabi ko. So figure one depicts a typical single stage vapor compression system. All such systems have four components. Simple yung compressor, a condenser, a thermal expansion valve, also called throttle valve or metering device, and an evaporator. Circulating, refrigerant enters the compressor and the thermodynamic state known as saturated vapor and is compressed to a higher pressure resulting in a higher temperature as well. So, pwede in range siyang mag-sopir dito tayo So, dito mo tayo sa typical, sa ideal. So, the hot compressed vapor is then in thermodynamic state known as the superheated vapor and it is at a temperature and pressure at which it can be condensed with either cooling of water or cooling air. So, matanda niya tawag na water cool and air cool. That hot vapor is loaded to a condenser where it is cooled in condensed into a liquid by flowing through a coil or tubes with cool water or cool air, flowing across the coil or tubes. Yeah. Yung high transfer niyo, di ba? Kung tayo mga, ano kayo mga cooling coil, heating coil, siya lang yung pins. Yeah. We transfer pins. So this is where the circulating refrigerant can fix it, the condenser, from the system, and the rejected heat is carried away by either the water or the air, whichever may be the case. Okay. So doon sa mga lugar na medyo malaming, application talaga ng, ano, ng air cold is sa mga malalaming ang lugar. So, sa may init na lugar, so, sa, I will sabihin, yung tubig nila ang malamig. So, sa, ano sila yung magawa? Sa water cold yun. Yung water cold, yung may makita kayong cooling tower. Ang air cold, yung makita kayong mga yan, yung mga malilid na air cold condenser. Yan. Sa iba, na walang available na tubig, so, hangin lang sila. Okay? Like sa Middle East. So, cold and air cold, kaya lang, special yung uh, equipment nila. Dapat apply, ano doon, applicable doon sa temperature, doon sa Middle East. 
Hindi sila pwede mag-water call. Pulling tower kasi wala silang tubig na ano, so supply. Okay. The condensed liquid refrigerant and the thermodynamic state is known as the saturated liquid. So, nandiyan yung refrigeration niya. Ha? Is next loaded through an expansion valve where it undergoes an abrupt reduction in pressure. So, decorated with the jury niya. So, that pressure reduction results in the automatic class evaporation of a part of the liquid refrigerant. The automatic refrigeration effect of the adiabatic class evaporation lowers the temperature of the liquid and before refrigerant mix to where it is colder than the temperature of the lost space to the temperature to be refrigerated. Uh, now, the cold mixture so the evaporator, uh, is then loaded through the coil or tubes in the evaporator because it's going to the room. Then, Ito, isusok ka niya sa room. A fan circulates the warm air in the enclosed space across the coil or tubes carrying the cold refrigerant liquid and vapor mixture. The warm air evaporates the liquid part of the cold refrigerant mixture. At the same time, the circulating air is cold in dust towards the temperature of the enclosed space to the desired temperature. Sign, temperature. So the evaporator is where the circulating refrigerant absorbs and removes heat, which is subsequently rejected into condenser and transferred elsewhere by the water to air used in the condenser. To complete the refrigeration cycle, the refrigerant vapor from the evaporator is again a saturated vapor and is loaded back into the compressor. Okay? So alam niyo na yung PS chart niya, di ba? Di natin i-discuss. Uh, some, some problem solving the lag. Ah, ito. Ito na lang dito. Ito yung pay charge. Paper compression cycle. Thermo, ito yung ay, ano, dito kan mo. The thermodynamics of paper compression cycle can be analyzed on a temperature versus entropy diagram as the pigeon in figure 2. So, gamitin natin is your TH diagram. Normally, sa refrigeration is PS. Okay. PS, wala bang PS dito. So, ayan, PS chart. Pwede rin yan. Pero ang common to ginagamit sa refrigeration is PS. Pero dito sa discussion natin is TS mga tayo. Kasi yung PS, pero fake lang yan na PS diagram. Okay? So, at point 1, ito, so mag-umsa tayo dyan natin, ngayon nyo lang yung video. In the diagram, the circulating refrigerant enters the compressor as a saturated vapor. So, from point 1 to point 2, the vapor is as a tropically compressed, so vertical yung line that is compressed at constant entropy. In exceeds the compressor as superheated vapor. Pag-drawing nyo ah, paglagay nyo ng dot sa mga state points. Yung mga iba nakikita ko, andyan yung ano, pero yung tuldok nandito sa malayo, okay? Kung baka hindi yun, ano mo okay lang yun, okay? From point 2 to point 3, the vapor travels to part of the condenser which removes superheat by cooling the vapor. So this is constant pressure. Ayan. So, sa temperature, direct sa yan. Sa line. Pagating dito, aros pa rin sa constant pressure at temperature. Okay? So, walang tatabing eh. Yung tumatabing eh kasi, pagkasog, magkumpya, isa ka sa magdo-drawing, sa puti na ang drawing. Kami sa pati nga itong ano, tumatabing. Kung nag-i-incline na pag ano na, tabingin na. Kung pag hindi naman sa pag-picture yun. So, makikita mo naman yung isa ka sa mga nakasulat. Okay? So, kaya kinoclock out pa yun kung hindi kayong masanay. Between 3 and 4, the vapor travels to the remainder of the condenser and this condensed into a specific between. The condensation process occurs at essentially constant pressure. Okay? Tell mo nyo. Between 4 and 5, the saturated liquid refrigerant passes to the expansion valve and undergoes an abrupt decrease of pressure and constant yan. Okay, meron constant yan. The process dissolves in the adiabatic class evaporation 
and auto refrigeration of the portion of the liquid. So typically, less than half of the liquid process. So the adiabatic plus evaporation process is asymptotic. Of course, at constant enthalpy. Uh, in thermodynamics, we are the joel thompson process or throttling process. Tignan nyo yung term nyo. So Bernoulli apply din niya. Between points 5 and 1, the cold and partially vaporized refrigerant travels to the coil or tubes in the evaporator where it is totally vaporized by the warm air from the space being refrigerated. The fact the path that a pan circulates across the tubes or coil in the evaporator. So the evaporator operates at essentially constant pressure in boils of all available liquid then after, then after adding 4 to 8 degrees Kelvin of superheat to the refrigerant as a safeguard for the compressor as it cannot pump liquid. So ang varying sa kulit mo is 4 to 8 Kelvin. So kulit niya na 4 to 8 Kelvin is also equal to 4 to 8 degrees C. Okay? Yeah. Wag niyong minus na ng 273 para maging degree C. Huh? This is a super heat. This is a degree change in, de in temperature. Okay. Now, the resulting refrigerant vapor returns to the compressor and left at point one to complete the thermodynamic cycle. It should be noted that the above discussion is based on the ideal vapor compression refrigeration cycle with which does not take account into account real world items like frictional pressure drop in the system, slight internal reversibility during the compression of the refrigerant vapor, yung uh, actual, actual process, or the non-ideal gas behavior in any. Yeah. Yung actual process na yan. Dapat alam nyo rin pag-sob na actual process. Okay. So, dinaanan nyo yan sa refrigeration. Okay. But, yan ito ang number one doon sa refrigeration. Pag ano na mga actual, yung intercooling, ano ba yun? Tama. Tapos sa, uh, meron doon namang cascade system. Meron, ano pa yun? Basta, marami yun. So, diyan tayo abot. Meron pa nga itong mga, ano doon, ang jet refrigeration, among, among absorption, ah, uh, Diyan, pagsama doon yung ice lamp na inabot nyo yan. Okay. So, performance of the standard vapor compression cycle. The standard vapor compression cycle is shown in temperature in the diagram. Thank you. Ito sa stopper to us. So, the processes constituting the standard vapor compression cycle are, siyempre, one to two. Reversible and adiabatic compression from standard saturated vapor to the condenser pressure. Uh, two to three, reversible radiation of heat and constant pressure causing the superheating and condensation of refrigerant. Three to four, a reversible expansion at constant enthalpy from saturated liquid to the evaporator pressure. Four to one, reversible addition of heat at constant pressure causing evaporation to saturated vapor. Yeah, simple lang. Tandaan niyo pa yan, ha? Eh, huwag niyo kakalimutan yan. Now, the work of compression in kilogram per kilogram is the change in enthalpy in process 1 to 2. Figure 4A, S1 minus S2. This relation derived from the state of flow energy equation, S1 plus Q is equal to S2 plus W, where changes in kinetic and potential energy are negligible. Now, because in the adiabatic compression, the transfer is zero. So the work now equals to X1 minus X2.
the difference in enthalpy is a negative quantity, indicating the work is done on the system. So, again, from back to your thermodynamics means, pag gumawa ka ng equation, alam mo yung positive or negative. Pag work lang, dito yun. Pag input dito, nandito ka, normally sa standard equation, nung still deployed ng equation ang work, nasa right side. Left side naman yung cube. Sabi, input, output. Okay? So, indicating the work done on the system na nag-negative, sabi ko ka sa input. Okay? So, even though the compressor may be of the reciprocating type, where flow is intermittent rather than steady, process 1 to 2 is still represent the action of the compressor. At a short distance in the pipe away from the compressor, the flow has to smooth out and approach the steady flow. Knowledge of the work of compression is important because it may be one of the largest operating costs of the system. Bakit? Power yan eh. Energy. So the heat injection, theta, is S3 minus S2. Okay? So this knowledge also comes from the steady flow energy equation in which kinetic energy, potential energy, and work comes out. The value of S3 is S2 is negative. Mas maliit yung S3. Okay? Kasi rejection. Pero ang equation mo is input. Okay? So indicating that the heat is transferred from the refrigerant. The value of heat rejection is used in sizing the condenser and calculating the required flow quantities of the condenser cooling fluid. Okay? Kaya saan ang ginagalusok ka is positive. That is the absolute value. Pero nalagay mo rejection. Kung wala kang nilagay, ginamit mo yung equation. So, mamamali ka doon. Tapos iba yung equation mo dito, yan, ginamit ko yan. Pag nagkit ng equation mo dito, it's positive. So, mamamali yung source. Mali na yung source mo. Diba? So, ito, ginamit mo yung equation. Pag ating ng work mo dito, it's positive. So, mali ka. Okay? So, compression yun. Okay? Dapat alam mo yung basic. Next, refrigerating effect. So, this is one, four to one. So, to. knowledge of the magnitude of the term is necessary because performing this process is the ultimate purpose of the entire system, which is the cooling. Kaya nga tinatawag na effect. So, refrigerating effect is all normally always siya in kilojoules per kilogram or kilojoules per pound. Yan ang kinatawag na refrigerating effect per unit mass. So, may iba, may sinasagot nga sa Pilipinas lang yan. Ginagawa, refrigerating effect, pero ang sagot, kilojoules. Okay? Talagang refrigerating effect is, nakibasa mo sa mga books, is unit mass. Okay? Yan. Ang definition nila. Okay? Kaya, minsan, i-double check nyo yung nababasa nyo sa ibang book, mga terms, kasi may sa code. So, may mga standard na definition yan. Okay? So, ito, sumusunod siya. Pero sa ibang mga reviewer natin sa Pilipinas, may mga hindi na sumusunod. So, sample problem, gagawin, kita dyo lang sagot. Check nyo. So, the coefficient of performance of the standard vapor compression cycle is the refrigerating effect divided by by the work of compression. So, COP, uh, coefficient of performance is equal to refrigerating effect divided by the work of compression, which is S4 minus S2 over S2 minus S1. Absolute value or the positive value is S2 minus S1. Yeah. Kasi ni mong COP negative. So this is now S2 minus S1. Yeah. yeah. This is absolute value. So sometimes the volume flow rate is computed at the compression inlet or state point 1. Kasi nakita mo sa mga table ng comparison ng refrigerant, meron siyang inaanong volume flow rate. Kasi may mga refrigerant na nagbibigay ng malaking pipe. May mga maliliit na pipe. Kasama sa performance yun. 
variable check mark. Yeah. The volume flow rate is a rough indication of physical size of the compressor. The greater the magnitude of the term, the value, numerical value, the greater the displacement of the compressor in cubic meters per second must be. Yeah. Another the performance naman is yung power per kilowatt of refrigeration, which is the inverse of the coefficient of performance. Wait, uh. Yeah. All right. The inverse of the coefficient of performance in an efficient and an efficient refrigeration has a low value of power per kilowatt of refrigeration, but a high coefficient of performance. Performance na coefficient of performance wala ka dapat magayon. Kita man sa power per kilowatt of refrigeration, since it's equal sa mas baba, mas okay kasi may type na tawag na energy savings. Diba? So, power, yun yung iba yung kilowatt of refrigeration. Ha? May makita kayong ng aircon na horsepower, kakala nyo para maging kilowatt, multiply nyo ng 0.746. So, hindi yun. At least the horsepower of refrigeration yun. So, pag, para maging kilowatt, multiply mo ng 3.5.6 kilowatt. Ay, times mo ng 0.75. Approximate yung 0.75. Tons per hour, tapos kung dito mga 3.516, yun yung magiging kilowatt mo. Pag mas power sa mga aircon. Diba? Ayun yung linyo na yan. O, meron kayo aircon. Nakikita yung mga power. O, hindi yun power consumption. At least, capacity of, cooling capacity yun ang refrigeration capacity yun ang aircon. So, sa power per kilowatt, Mayroon ang sa pandulation ng mga definition ng pendulan. Sa manufacturer, mayroon sila nakalagay doon mo silang power sa bawat aircon. So, erasure mo na lang yun. Magkuha mo itong power per kilowatt of the pendulation. So, mayroon, mayroon ang mga ibang sa uh, green building. Mayroon silang ma-equivalent niyan. Yung energy efficiency ratio. At least, a ratio na wala na, na ano niya is Villager per watt hour, ano, that is the ratio of tons And yung uh, refrigerate, Refrigeration to the power So, siya po kalita nito At least, ano lang yun, COP multiplied by 3.6 na may certain units yung energy Efficiency ratio sa meron pang FPER. So, sa ano na yun? Kung itabaw na kayo, pag-aralan nyo yun. Sa aircon, kung may makita ka, so nag ka, di ba? So, reserve na lang yung mga FPER na yun. Same lang yun. Okay? Huwag na tayo pamuntadad kasi nakaba na yung topic. So, malalaman nyo rin yun. Kasi, ano tayo lang sa basic. So, example number one. So, a refrigeration system using refrigerant 22 is to have a refrigerating capacity of 80 kilowatt. So, R22, may phase out na yan. Ang so, mga makita mga aircon, R4 term. Uh, ayun, meron ng R22. Okay. So, ito kasi mga example natin. It's just a powerful, ano lang ito. Kasi ito sa student, sa klase na. Sa klase, ito. Pero, kung na-apply na kayo, gusto nyo i-check yung performance ng ano, hanap kayo ng table ng R32, okay? The properties of refrigerant. So, dito muna tayo. A refrigeration system using refrigerant 22 is to have a refrigerant with a positive 80 kW. Baka iba na yung refrigerant, hindi na kayo marunong. Okay? Table lang yun. So, the cycle is a standard vapor compression cycle in which the reporting temperature is negative 8C. So, may negative ba na, huwag mong mawala. Pag napagsulat mo ng given, nawala yan. Samari ka na. Okay? And the condensing temperature is 42 C. So, may iba kasi kopya ng kopya lang. Okay? Hindi ini-edit yung if ni-verify yung sinusulat ka na. Kaya 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 na may nawawalang word. Alam na kung sino-sino yun. So, A. Determine the volume flow of refrigerant measured in cubic meter per second at the end of to the compressor. Yung mga nagkulat ko lang yun. Yung mga nagkulat. Ano, pagiging ano siya, tawag doon, factor. Kasi so, 
kan ada babak-babak, ada pasangan, ada surat pasangan. Kalau kita mau dot surat jual, tapi problem itu no surat. Jadi itu lebih kalkulat di power required by the compression. Si at the end time sudah evaporator what is the fraction of vapor in the mixture is best mode on mass basis and volume. Itu yang ABC. Kalau kita punya. This is the whole problem. Tak mesti saya sulit ni, tapi lagi mungkin jepang ni tak. Pasti malina, pasti panek apa lagi kita bawa. Pasti sulit juga untuk mat, lagi incline, lagi incline. Di mana kita tangkap indoor? Di mana kasih kata perspektif kalibrasi? Apa sulit kita? Mungkin ada sulit ni, di tanggal mana yo? Don palang. Naik pa sama yo. Kalau pun pantai, sama malina, naik apa? Kung patabi niyan, o yung yung leg, yung ano yung ulit sa kanil na siya, patabi niyo. Okay lang yun. Basta tama yun na malina o pagkasol. Kasi tinitingnan din yun eh. Ang ibalit sa inyo. Pag magulang yung sulat nyo, sabi sabi, magulok ka rin. Diba? Sulat mo pa taas, pagano, pagano. So hindi yun, ah, hindi ito pwede niyo sa kriyato. So given, refrigerant 22. Refrigerating capacity 80 kW, evaporating temperature negative 50 C, condensing temperature 42 C. Nama. So, nak kita mutong itu ngambil dulu. Kalau mangan table dah, nak kita mutong. Alus, itu naya yang standar, memalapet yang bintang. Okay. Okay, kalau mesti desain kan, walang ni kenapa saya tu, kenapa desain kan yang super compressor ni nya? Ibi gay lang sayo, yang Iluat, apa yang kami tengok tu juga betul. Walau saya ini begini tapi saya juga tak hidup hanya alam. Okay, wah anak penang typical values. Apa kau kumpul mana yang size? Eh, apa kau lambat lagi? Kau misalnya, mula itu, mula itu, kita kasi size nanggu. Jadi kau mahu kumpulnya? Siapa nama penuh? Siapa nama yang tak? Produk loading nama yang refrigeration, produk. Makuha mo yung ilang tanos, so kung nagpo sa kilowatt, ito na yun. So, magagamit ka ng anong recommended na doon, sa pagyarant. So, ngayon mo, tapos sanapin mo yung iba po itong temperature and condensing temperature sa standard. Yung typical. So, doon ka mag-design. So, required. A, the volume flow of refrigerant measures in cubic meter per second at the end of the decompression. B, power required by decompression. C, fraction of vapor in the mixture expressed both on mass basis and a volume basis at the instance of the evaporator. So, ito yung for, ano yung, ito ba nasa ano siya, with region. So, ito yung quality. So, yung presentation, yung quality, ito naman yung sabi niya. Fraction of vapor, so ito doon po na X. Diba? So, use refrigerant 22 table pa refrigeration and conditioning by structure regions. So, may table naman. So, so minsan, kung nairap na kayong kumuha doon sa chart, Stoker and Jones. Di ba kapag gumamit kayo ng value ng chart? Stoker and Jones yata, chart yung sa Stoker E. So meron dun sa Bogart na yung sa refrigerant. Makita mo, meron din sa dong table. So pag dun ka gumamit ng table sa Bogart, gumamit, huwag kang gagamit ng saturation table sa Stoker. Okay? Gamitin mo din yung sa yung bogat sa thermodynamics. Same reference. Kasi mag-iiba yung, ano niya, yung value, reference point niya. Yung delta S niya. Okay? So, may gumamit niya, eh. Kinuha niya yung, ano, table, ito sa, so, kaya, pagdating ng superlit na, ito niya, ano, kasi, figure, or knowing, o chart. So, naka, kumuha siya doon sa ibang libro. May tabulation yung, Value na, so, okay, heat. So, 
ang pag lang mabas, mali, sagot ka. Okay. So, kung titinan mo yung saturation ng property, iba ang value ng intel ko doon. So, yung value sa export ng index. Yan. Doon kayo magkakalag. Yung reference point kasi yun. So, basahin mo pa ng reference ng intel. Reference point ng intel. So, zero. C o ano yung isa? Particle Fahrenheit or zero Fahrenheit, zero length. Okay? Itinyan nyo lang yan. So, this is the pH chart. Pressure, enthalpy. So, yan. Constant, entropy. Diba, kasabihin nyo siya ngayon. Vertical line na sa entropy. This is pressure, enthalpy chart. Okay? Ang constant dito is enthalpy, dito po. So, this is enthalpy. So, wag mong gaganon, gaganon, gaganon. Saan po punta yung dito po. Okay? Kaya ito rin. Gumaganon, gumaganon. So, linyan ko na lang ng kulay yan. Iroller naman ako. So, ito na. At 1, state 1, negative HC, saturated. So, X1 is equal to SP1. Is 402.341. As is, kung ano yung nakita nyo doon sa table. SF1 is equal to 190.71 exterior per kilogram. So yan ang nakalagay sa table. Ha? V sub D1, kailangan mo to kasi kailangan mo hold on to. At the inlet dito. At the inlet to na compressor. Tama ito. So V sub F1 is 0.7625 liters per kilogram. Pagaling sa table na, ulitin ko, huwag mag sa report mag-ahop. S1 is equal to 1.7639 kilogram per kilogram kelvin. So, ito ang kita na sa table, nakita ko ito sa table, tinagay mo 1.769. So, lagi kong sinasabi, huwag niyong bawasan ito, pero huwag i-rank off yung sa table. Okay? So, baka masanay kayo dyan. Baka yung A. 8.1, iba naman mo yung kinalala ko yung nakikita nyo sa table. Okay? So, at 2, 42C, condensing temperature, constant entropy, at sub 2 is equal to 48.79 kg per kilogram. So, good. Constant entropy, ibig sabihin, ginawa ba? S2 is equal to S1. So, ayan. Saan ko kinuha to? So, check nyo doon table table to o sa stock nyo check nyo doon ah at the other three so siyempre it's the S of F dan saturated liquid is 252.352 kg per kg so S for is equal to S case 252.352 kg per kg so yan okay na lang so kompeto ka na ng points 8 points in LP So this is the answer, uh, the part answer, complete, uh, completing the intel fish actor. So alam niyo na ito, di ba? Kasi nalipigilating ko kayo. So baka mayroon pang dimalunin niya kung mga 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 value niya. Okay? So A, volume flow of refrigerant is the W that we should be. So W is the kilogram per second. Mass flow rate, pwede mo lang yung N, pwede na W, pero sa libro ka sa W, it is V sub G is the specific volume in liters per kilogram. May value na tayo dito. So, the, the power is W times S1 minus S4. Or the power. Compressor. And the, uh, as for cooling, 80 kilowatts is Refrigerating capacity. So, yan. Yeah. Iba yung effect ka sa capacity. Capacity, simple, kasama na, mag-term na ng kilogram. The weight. So, yan. Yeah. So, ito na. Cooling capacity, refrigerating capacity, W times F1 minus F2, sigma to 80 kilowatt. So, i-divide para masol mo to, W, W times 402.34 watt. So, dito na, nakuha yun na yun. Dito na. Uh -huh. Okay. Minus 252.352 is 80. So W is equal to 0.5834 kilogram per second. 
So the volume flow of refrigerant is 0.5 kg per second times 61.0958 liter per kilogram. So this is now equal to 32.59 liter per second. Or the value of 1,000 will be 0.0359 to 0.0359 kg per cubic meter per second. Little b, power required by compressor is W is equal to S2 minus S1. So, balikin lang natin para maging positive ang uh, value niya. So, that is 0.5 to 3.4 minus 438.79 minus 402.341 or 19.422 kilo. Okay. Tama yung ano mo, S2 minus S1. Pero pag nangupya ka, may nangyari doon sa inyo na isa na Para ganito, ang point is S1 minus S2. Ang yun tapos, pagdating dito, 48.79 minus 402.4. So, mali yun. Mali na. Kasi yung S1 mo, dapat yun yung sinundot ko dito. Okay? Tintan nyo bakit kung may namali yun. The process. Let us see. It's X of N, the fraction of vapor by mass basis. And X of B, the fraction of vapor by volume base. By mass basis, it's only the enthalpy. X sub M is equal to X sub 4 minus X sub F1 over X sub D1 minus F1 is equal to 252 or 3.2 minus 190.718 over 402.341 minus 190.718 is 0.292. Yan, answer to. Ano na dyan mas answer yan. So for your volume basis, kunin mo yung total volume. Si volume basis siya eh. Kunin mo yung total volume tapos yung volume ng yung volume ng vapor divide mo na yung total volume. Ano yung total volume? This is 1 minus X sub M plus B sub F1 plus X sub M plus B sub D1 or 1 minus 0.292 times 0.7625 plus 0.292 times 61.7628 is 18.38 kilos per second. Therefore, the total volume is X sub B is equal to the fraction of vapor pala X sub B is equal to X sub M plus B sub D1. Ito yun. This is for the vapor. This is for the liquid. Ayan. So, vapor to. So, 0.292 times 61.7 times over 1838 is 0.971. So, this is now your answer. Hello. Okay. And this is for example number one. Next, heat exchangers. So, ito. Some refrigeration system use a liquid to suck the heat exchangers, which subcools the liquid from the condenser. Ito yung condenser ng liquid. So, subcool niya yan. So, ito yung effect ng subcool, heat of all. With, uh, from the condenser, the suction vapor coming from the evaporator. Ito yun. So, masusuperate mo yung galing sa evaporator. So, hindi na siya. Moisture free na siya. So, sa pwede rin siya papasok sa compressor. May purpose for, for siya. The arrangement is yun in figure 5A and the corresponding pressure enthalpy diagram is figure 5A. So, ito yung PS niya. Okay. And then yun. So, magkatapat-tapat na dapat mo lang gumawa ng diagram rate dito sa arrangement. Ito yung copy ng copy. Ang numbering. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, ha? hindi yung dito ka nag-umpisa. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Pagkating sa diagram mo, ito yung nang dito. Ito yung so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, dito pala sa drawing mo, sayang na nga. Mali na. So, sayang na yung pagkahaba-haba na actually ginawa ng solution. Okay? Hindi mo tinitingnan yung figure mo. Hindi ka naman, kung ikaw mag-resolve, hindi mo masosolve doon. Talagang problem. Pag ikaw talaga ang gumawa. Okay? Pag ginapya mo lang sa pattern, hindi mo talaga maka. Tapos, hindi mo pato sila ng scenario, so, sasaya ka talaga siya. So, saturated liquid at 0.3. Wait, 
So, saturated liquid at point 0.3 coming from the condenser is equal to point 0.4 by means of vapor at point 0.6 so heated to point 0.1. Uh, from uh, the yan. Okay, ito, zero yan. Okay, nag equal lang yan. Di ba nag equal? So, from might balance, x sub k is minus x sub 4 is equal to x sub 1 minus x sub 6. Now, the refrigerating effect is either x sub 6 minus x sub 5 or x sub 1 minus x sub 3. So, kasi enthalpy ito, x sub 1 minus x sub 3 or x sub 6 minus x sub 5. So, it equal ang difference niya. So, ito yung cut away view of liquid to suction it is named yan. So, asan ang vapor? Siyempre ito malaki. Ito yung liquid. So, ito yung nakakoil. So, compared with the standard vapor to present cycle, the system using the heat exchanger may seem to have obvious advantages because of the increased refrigerating effect. So both of the capacity and the coefficient of performance may seem to be improved. So, don't to compare more. This is not necessarily true, however, sa iba, refrigerant. So, the, even though the refrigerating effect is increased, the compression is pushed further out into the separate region. Where the work of compression and kilogram per kilogram is greater than it is close to the saturated vapor line. So to double check more in the improvement, it's a percentage of the source theory. So by kita mo na improve sa pero pag inapert mo sa ibang mga refrigerant, hindi siya advantageous. Pero mostly advantageous sa iba. Obvious, di ba? Obvious. It will be the body capacity and the best of the product may seem to be improved. May seem to be improved. Kasi hindi naman pare-parehas ang properties ng refrigerant. From the standpoint of capacity, point 0.1 has a higher specific value than point 0.6. So that a compressor it is able to pump a certain volume deliver less mass flow if the intake is at point one. The potential improvements in performance are thus counterbalanced, and the heat exchanger probably has negligible thermodynamic advantage. Thermodynamics in principle, pero dito sa compressor so ang advantage is ito. The heat exchanger is definitely justified, however, in situations where the vapor entering the compressor must be superheated to ensure that no liquid enters the compressor. Another practical reason for using heat exchanger is to subcool the liquid from the condenser to prevent bubbles of vapor from impeding the flow of the refrigerant to the expansion valve. So, this is the main purpose of the thermodynamic theory. Example number two, a refrigerant 22 vapor compression system includes a liquid to saturated heat exchanger in the system. The heat exchanger warm saturated vapor coming from the evaporator from negative 10 to 5C with liquid which comes from the condenser at 30C. The compressions are isotopic in both cases listed below. A. Calculate the coefficient of performance of the system without the heat exchanger, but with condensing temperature at 30 C and an evaporating temperature of negative 10 C. So, ito muna. Kung wala itong subgulin so saka per heat. So, check nyo lang yung numbering doon. B. Calculate the coefficient of performance of the system with the heat exchanger. Naman. So, C. If the compressor is capable of pumping 10 liters per second, we should at the compressor suction. What is the refrigeration capacity of the system without the heat exchanger? D, with the same compressor capacity as in C, 
what is the refrigerating capacity of the system with the heat exchanger? The question, ah. So given, so refrigerant 22, pero tayong decomposing the heat exchanger, evaporator from negative 10 to 5C. So ito yung inoperate niya, 5C. Condenser is negative SRTG. So this is not called na hindi given kasi nga, pero pa dito si not permit. So masasol mo yun. So required, so wag mo nang basahin. Ito rin yung dito. So, dito. so Solution without the heat exchanger. So, mali itong figure. Ito yung with heat exchanger. Alright, ah. Uh, okay. So, ito. Isa na gamit yung figure. Kasi without the heat exchanger, yung state point 1 and 6, isa lang. So, this is at negative 10 C. So, table A6 is proper in the S of 1, which is also equal to S of 6, is 401. 0.555 kg per kilogram. S1 also S6 is 1.76 kg per kilogram per bin. So at 2, start C, constant entropy, so start C2, start C. So H2 is equal to 41.787 kg per kilogram. So table A7, so table plus 1. Okay. So at 3 and 4, start C, table A6. S3 is equal to S4 is equal to 236.664 kg per kilogram. At 5, S5 is equal to S4 is equal to 236.664 kg per kilogram. Ayan. So, pagkuhan ng properties, wala mo sa YouTube, tuturo sa inyo sa refrigeration din o demand. It's up to you na kung may mga rules naman yan. Pagkuhan ng table, di ba? Interpolation. So, yung mga technique, mga example, nakikita nyo naman yun. Okay. Paano kino yung value? Proper interpolation, pagbasa ka sa table, proper piece. Lalo pati rin sa mga graph. Na pag linya, ititrace mo, vertical line, sa horizontal line, kasi sa joint. So, paano mo babasahin yung graph, yung chart, yung logarithm, log scale, na chart, marami na. So, pag-alala nyo, ano yun yun, uh, pagbasa rin pati yung sa table. Okay? Kasi hindi naman kailangan doon tayo magputok. Paano kung pagkuha ng mga yung kasi input lang yun. Paano yung operation? Okay? So, coefficient of performance is equal to H6 minus H5 divided by H2 minus H1 is 401.555 minus 236.664 over 41.787 minus 401.555 is 5.46. So, ito yung without heat exchanger. It will be with heat exchanger. So, at 6, ito, negative 10 C, table A na 6, so, it's of 6 is 401.555 kg per kilogram. Yan, di ba? At 6. So, at 1, negative 10, iba po the temperature at 5 C, Table E7, so S1 is equal to 411.845 kJ per gram. So, karindyo sa table na. At 2, 36, cos of entropy. Table E7, so S2 is equal to 444.407 kJ per kg. So, para makuha niyo cos of entropy, ah, pwede ko na nalagay siya yung entropy. So, bahala kayo, may gagamit yung iskas, di ba? Makuha mo yung S1, so S2, so o oh, kaya ipakita nyo sa interpolation kung paano niya kuha yung itong value to entropy. Hindi so, ko na ipapakita dito. Kaya nang bahala mag-expand doon sa solution nyo kung paano nyo nakuha yung value to. Diba? Kasi kung kinopya mo lang to, so mali-check ko naman yan. So, mali na. Kung gina ko i-question nyo, bakit mali? Tapos na kasi sa kanyo ibibigay yung procedure nyo kung paano na na kuha to. Eh, na, yung papel yun, na-check ka na. So hindi pwede yan. Yung tupalo, tupalo. So, this one, H3, okay? So, ano yung 4? So, H3 minus H4 is equal to H4 minus H6. So, H4 is equal to H3 plus H6 minus H1. So, H4 is equal to 236.664 plus 401.555 minus 411.845 is 226.374 kilogram per kilogram. So, yan yung value mo ng S4 which is equal to H5. 
Now the COP is equal to H6 minus H5 over H2 minus H1 is equal to 401.555 minus 226.372 over 444.407 minus 3411.85 is 5.38. So this is now answer for letter B, which is so bumaba. Uh, so hindi na improve. Depending on how much you can Letter C, reproducing capacity without the passenger at one. So B is equal to 65.89 liters of kilogram. Paano mo nakuha ito? So dito sa properties niya, pagkuha mo ng state 1 dito, magkikita mo rin yun doon. Okay? So B1. So refrigerating capacity is 12 liters per second divided by 65.89 liter per kilogram. So ito yung mass magiging kilogram per second times H6 minus H5. So, 401.555 minus 236.664. Uh, sorry. Itong 1 pala, dito tayo. 1 in 6 equals, so this is P sub 1 dito. Okay? P sub 1 dyan is yung saturated. Uh, saturated dyan. So, this is 30.3 kilowatt answer. P sub 1 is, is, is equal to 6. Ha? Pag wala kang hitik sa inyo. Pag meron, ito na. At 1 is 70.275 liters per kilogram. Dito, kung saan mo kinuha itong value, doon din hanapin ko yung katapat na specific volume. May hitik sa inyo. So, reproducing capacity is 12 over 70.275 times n to minus s5. Okay, s1. Tama. S6 ulit, S6. Okay, sorry, S6 siya. Palit, palit. So, yun. This is now 29.9 kilowatt. So, the repetitive capacity with the exchanger sa bumaba. Okay. Kunti lang. Next, actual vapor compression cycle. So the actual vapor compression cycle suffers from inefficiencies compared with the standard cycle. There are also other changes from the standard cycle which may be intentional or unavoidable. So kami na kasi lecture na ito kasi na ito sa radio stop. Mabaka ito lang ginamit. So minsan ito lang ginamit ko doon sa subject ng refrigerator. Alos repeat-repeat lang kasi para nga yung kung na maintindahan nyo yung baby. Some comparisons can be drawn by superimposing the actual cycle on the pressure enthalpy diagram of the standard cycle as of figure 7. Superimposing sinabay ha. Ito yung ideal mo. Standard. Ito yung actual. Superheating, cooling, actual. The essential difference between the actual and the standard cycle appear in the pressure drop in the condenser and vaporator. Ang flow niya, pag anon, kaya yung 2 to 3, mas mataas yung flow kaysa P. So, ang flow niya, di ba? Press kaya nga, pressure drop. Ito yung pressure. Ang mga So, dito, pwede ka na mag-equip kasi hindi na mag-constant pressure. 4 to 1, bumaba ulit. Ha? From 4 to 1, bumaba election niya pa gano'n. Okay? Baka gumawa kayo may pressure drop. Ang board nyo nasa baba ng 1. That is not a pressure drop. So, mali ulit. Pag-entende. Okay? So, a post of cooling of the liquid leaving the condenser. So, independent siya. And the superheating of the vapor leaving the evaporator. Independent. Di sa heat exchanger. Pag heat exchanger, so cooling is equal to superheating. Okay? So the pressure of the because of friction, however, the pressure of refrigerant drops in the actual cycle. The result of this drop and pressure is that the compression process between one and two requires more work than in the standard cycle. So cooling of the liquid in the condenser is a normal occurrence and serves 
and desirable function of ensuring that 100% liquid will enter the expansion device. So for heating of the vapor, usually of flow with the operator, it is recommended as a precaution against droplet of liquid being carried ever into the compressor. The final difference in the actual cycle is that the compression is no longer isotopic and there are inefficiencies due to friction and other losses. So this is now the actual cycle. Hindi na ako mag-example dito. Kasi, introduce ko lang. 